All right, today is the day. Well, this is not the next step in the Airtay Supercar project because I am at this point in the video series ending anything that might represent step by step because in the beginning, I was able to follow the process of building the plug in a kind of a sequential method. But from here on out, there's just so many things I'm gonna be fragmenting here and there that I can't say I'm really following any kind of a sequence. So let me take you and just show you some of the things that we're gonna be working on in the very near future. And of course, one of the biggest projects of all, the plug is sitting there waiting for molds to be taken. All the parting lines have been planned out. Just need to do some things to set up all the blocks or the dams to create the molds. Okay, these are some parts from the wrecking yard. This is a three-way adjustable, electric adjustable steering column from a Q45 Infinity. Since the seating position in the car is going to be fixed, I need the steering column and the pedal box to move. So found this unit, gonna test this out and see if it will work. I believe it will. We'll be replacing the steering wheel itself. That'll be off from the controls. That'll be in a separate control unit behind the steering wheel. But I need to adapt this steering column because I need this to actually fit as close as I can to shorten, to keep that distance the same but I need this electric assist unit out of a Toyota Prius to fit in. And then behind that, got a steering rack from the Prius as well. So got to make those things, machine the drive shafts in there, weld the pieces together to make a complete steering assembly. Sitting on the corner of the shop, all the parts from the engine. Big project here. Taking and porting and polishing the head. Still need to balance the pistons. The engine lower half is actually ready to go, just waiting for the pistons. Transmission differential, need to start making adapters and bell housings to adapt those to the engine and the drive shafts to connect the transmission to the transfer case, which isn't here, of course. Transfer case is being rebuilt. I need to do that as well. Of course, lots of suspension work to do. This is a upper A-arm rocker for the inboard coilovers. Need to get that finished and a mold taken off of it so I can start casting a couple of those in aluminum. One of the projects coming up that's gonna be kind of fun is this. This is the MS3 ECU controller. Behind it, it's the simulator board to uh, test the board and uh, put it through its paces before it gets installed in the car because we're going to have a couple of problems. We're going with a brand new standalone ECU, a brand new engine rebuild, and totally from scratch wiring harness. All those have got to work in combination to get the car starting and running efficiently at the beginning so that we don't do any damage to the engine. And here's one I can ask, ask people's opinions. Here's the brake calipers, top mounted calipers from a Porsche 911. I need to take these and powder coat them. Still in debate in my own mind about whether to take those in the midnight blue that the car is going to be or into the orange with the rest of the accents on the car. So maybe in the comments below people can tell me what they think. Orange with the accents, midnight blue with the body color. That's just a small sampling of all the things we've got to accomplish to get this project moving along. Anyway, not going to be any kind of a sequence anymore. We're hoping still to get a video up at least each week. Keep you up to date on what's going on here in the studio. Anyway, hope you like the video. If you want to see more of the videos of the project and other things we do here in the studio, go ahead and subscribe below, ring the bell, and that'll give you notifications of things that are coming up. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again.